Okay, perfect. Um, we are live right now. Hi, everybody. We have Tim with us. He's one of the co-founders of Expatrio, the company which is pretty much offering the cheapest blocked account solution on the market. And I know that you guys had a lot of different kind of questions. So Tim is going to be here. Tim, welcome to the live stream. Thanks so much. Happy to be here. Um, and you guys can then start shooting your questions. First of all, I'd like to tell you a bit about the value package that Expatri is offering. I'll just show you their website real quick. When you go to their website, expatri.com, then right on the first page, you will see, you will be practically greeted by the value package. So you just go here and you have the free BA19 code, which is given to you so that you can use it to waive off your initial setup fee. And the things that you're getting is um, I think instead of me talking, I'll let Tim talk here, mm -hmm. Tim. Yeah, of course. Um, so maybe if you, if you quickly go back uh, to, the, to the first screen, um, um, you guys might um, experience a different screen in here um, because that will look differently probably um, sometime within the next hours. Um, however, there will still be a value package screen, a uh, value package CTA as you call it, um, like the button. Um, so you can click on value package button, yeah, if you do that, mm -hmm. you are landing on this page. Now here you have a nice overview of what you can actually get uh, in the value package. You also have an overview of your, what you will save. Um, so if you scroll down, we can see you have the blocked account included, you have a current account included where you can, um, where you can receive your monthly disbursements. You have the incoming insurance, which you also need for, need for your visa, yeah? um, same as blocked account. And of course, you also uh, always see what is the benefit uh, in the value package of that. Yeah? So um, currently we have the code FREEBA19 with which you can save the 49 euro setup fee. Um, and then we have the current account, uh, which is free for the first month uh, in a premium plan with our partner Moniz. Then we have the incoming insurance, uh, which is free for up to 31 days at the moment, uh, where you will also save like 33 euros. And if you continue, you have the health insurance, like public health insurance, or you might have heard statutory health insurance, student health insurance. Yeah, this is basically all synonyms uh, for the health insurance which you need um, during your studies. Yeah, this is uh, with Technical Krankenkasse quite well known. I would say the best health insurance in Germany it has also been awarded a couple of times. I think like 13 times in a row being the best um, health insurance in Germany, um, especially for internationals, 24 seven uh, English speaking customer support and so on. And we have a liability insurance included, which sometimes is uh, actually required by dormitories. So if you apply uh, to live in a dorm with your university, they might uh, require you to set up liability insurance. So you're already all set with a value package over here, also for free. Uh, so you're saving an additional 15 euros over here. And then, um, which is also a nice feature on top, is the international student inter um, identity card. Sorry. Um, which basically gives you a lot of benefits and discounts all across Europe, uh, which you will get on top for free as well. So this is really the crazy part that you're getting actually, you can see how much money you're saving in every single thing. And most of the things you're just like entirely getting just for 60 euros. So you just have to pay like five euros per month for the blocked account, that's it. Like there's yeah, would, no other fee. Yeah, I would quickly also add, yeah. uh, there's no other fee. Um, this is like the uh, maintenance fee or uh, like monthly fees for the blocked account. Um, but of course, you would also have to pay your premiums for your uh, public health insurance, which is around 80 euros per month um, with Technica Krankenkasse, one of the cheapest options on the market out there for public health insurance, um, just to be like uh, concrete. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, with this, we are going to like quickly start taking the questions from the comment section, so Sunitra is asking, Dr. Walter confirmation document does not state arrival date in Germany. Will it be a problem? Will it not be a problem for the visa as the other travel insurance specify the date? Um, as per our knowledge, this is actually not a problem. Um, you, can, you can basically, because it actually says once you arrive in Germany uh, or with arrival in Germany, you are covered. Yeah? So this should actually not be a problem. As per our knowledge, we, we didn't really have cases uh, where the foreign authorities uh, are not accepting this. Um, so you can just bring it and it, re, um, it uh, fulfills all the requirements that you have by German law, like um, being valid for at least 130, uh, 180 days mm -hmm. and uh, also covering like 30,000 euros. 
um, this is this should be fine. Okay, and um, so for example, the incoming insurance it does also cover tra the travel. So for example, when you're flying to Germany, when you're flying, what exactly do you mean? Um, so for example, like when you, when the travel insurance or something like a lot of Indians have used this already, right? Mm -hmm. Like you have Indian customers too. So like, um, was the experience fine with them? Like with the doctor Walter? Yeah. So um, we have actually partnered up with Dr. Walter because um, they have certain advantages. Yeah, um, those advantages are on the one hand, um, um, there is no um, self, uh, uh, how's it called in English, uh, like Selbstbeteiligung? Yeah, Selbstbeteiligung in okay. German. So they um, have self-contribution. Yeah, exactly. There's no self-contribution. Um, then you have uh, a so-called Ärzte ticket. Yeah, this is a German term again, uh, which basically means like doctor certificate, which you can bring uh, to, to a bunch of doctors. So you don't have to pay yourself actually. Um, like for most of the private travel incoming insurances you have to pay yourself when uh, visiting the doctor for um, Dr. Walter you don't have to because you can bring this certificate and then Dr. Walter will be built in the background um, and another nice thing is that they are actually focusing on customer support quite a lot they are around for over 50 years so they are experts in their field um, and you are basically covered as of your arrival in Germany yeah? so this basically fulfills the so-called insurance gap um, between your arrival and your study start date and um, this will this will cover you during your or in this in this exact period uh, between arrival and study start yeah that's the fun thing and also like um, if you have any kind of questions like you'll also see that the Ministry of External Affairs uh, of Germany they have also like listed expatrio along with like some other companies on their like official page so, like you don't have to be worried about that part either like if it's recognized or not like it is recognized by the Ministry of External Affairs too and Consulates accepted. Students have been using it. it. There hasn't been a major problem of any kind till now. So um, Soham is asking. Uh, Monis is an online bank. Uh, so how are we supposed to take uh, out cash if it has no physical presence in Germany, mm -hmm. or do we have to open a Giro Konto in a local German bank for mm -hmm. it? No, you can you can take off uh, take out cash at any cash machine actually. Like you have a lot of ATMs around Germany, um, especially if you if you are go to if you are going to one of the bigger cities like Berlin or Munich or so. Um, it's full of ATMs everywhere, yeah? and uh, because you have a Mastercard with Moniz, you can um, you can withdraw money everywhere. Uh, you are free to withdraw money for up to six times uh, per month, and afterward it costs like one euro or something. Um, but if you if you know that you can uh, withdraw like six times, um, you you should be able to manage it properly. Uh, I assume uh, with other banks, they are already charging you for actually uh, having the having the account itself. Uh, many Sparkassen are doing so, um, and then sometimes you are even charged for um, getting money at a at a random ATM as well. Um, so with Muniz, uh, you can basically because it's a Mastercard and you are uh, allowed to have six. Withdrawals per month, you can just go to any ATM and get your cash. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, now, Harpreet Singh is asking. Um, I want to know about a few things about expatriate. If a student has already done his blocked account and want to take the whole pending things like uh, current account, student ID card, etc., then is it possible to take these pending services in a package only without blocked account with expatriate? Mm -hmm. um, so currently, that's not possible. Um, but as we have heard this wish a couple of times um, and as we are quite flexible and also working based on user feedback, uh, we are actually working on a solution for that. So we will certainly keep you posted um, and once uh, this might become available, uh, Barak will also certainly uh, update you guys. Um, so keep, uh, yeah, keep an eye out for these things. Um, I will exactly. also like for example, uh, post in my Facebook group so like this is Bharat in Germany Facebook group where you can just come directly and like I also like uh, asked already in the Facebook group that I'm having the talk with expatrio so like just ask your questions and there were like people saying that they have some really really nice experiences with expatrio so you can like also check it out and I will also like post other information directly in the Facebook group in case you have any kind of uh, yeah in case there are any kind of updates right um, then afterwards, uh, there's somebody joining us from his workplace because in India it's like still like six. So, yeah, thanks for doing that. Now, uh, Pramod is asking. So all of these things come as a single single package, and you can't take them separately. Um, you you basically can. 
Um, what we are currently still working on is um, integrating like the current account and the um, liability insurance onto our website so that you could uh, purchase them modularly as well yeah, in, a, in a like loan standing product basically or standalone. Um, but uh, in general, you can you can purchase each product by itself as well. Um, based on the application flows we have at the moment, it's not possible for every product like this. Um, if you are interested in, for example, getting the liability insurance uh, and you already have all the other stuff, uh, you can, of course, also just approach us uh, and we will find a solution for that as well. Um, but in the future, you will, you will have like different application flows for either getting the package or getting only one product or the other product and so on. Okay, so uh, a similar question from Chotani Shyam. Uh, suppose I don't want the health insurance and li liability insurance uh, from the package, so is it possible? Um, is it possible, I assume, um, you, you mean like is it possible to still get the value package and to still get all the benefits? Um, and this is a no in this case, unfortunately, um, because uh, in order to get all the benefits um, and in order to, to really en enjoy like all the perks of the value package, um, you need to really uh, go for all the, um, all the uh, products, especially the public health insurance. So we assume if you are purchasing the value package, you are in the need of the full uh, university student package, right? So you would come to Germany and you are activating your products, meaning uh, you are getting enrolled at a university and activating your public health insurance as well. If this is not the case, unfortunately, we cannot provide all the benefits that the value package is offering at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, now, Viren is asking, what are the total costs for a year for expatriate? I think he is asking for. There's a premium plan? Well, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so um, maybe the, the value package yeah, is probably, probably about, the yeah. value package, yeah. So the yeah, total cost for one year. Yes, so the total cost for one year, um, we are not charging you anything. Um, like, we are charging for the blocked account, yes. Um, but for the service itself and for the value package itself, we are not charging anything. So this is free. And then on top you will get uh, liability insurance for free, incoming insurance for free, and the current account for free, um, and the IC card for free. And um, then you will pay the monthly fees for the blocked account, which are 5 euros. So uh, on, a, on a yearly basis, this is 12 times 5 euros uh, being 60 euros, your total cost for your blocked account for an entire year, um, 60 euros. And then, as I said, you also, uh, of course, have to pay your premiums for your uh, public health insurance, which is um, around 89 euros, I think, for, for Technica Krankenkasse, which I uh, already said is uh, one of the cheapest solutions actually out there. And it has a great coverage. And as I said, it's, uh, it's awarded the best health insurance in Germany. Um, you, you won't get any possibility to not pay your health insurance premiums, unfortunately, uh, for, for public health insurance. Um, but this is nothing we would charge, but this is rather like your contribution to the German health insurance system, which is covering you in any case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm also with TK and uh, Tim is also with TK, so it is uh, definitely a great company to go with. So for everybody who's asking and has been having doubts about uh, this blocked account being for 60 euros in the value package, it is for 60 euros. and. I know there could be a lot of misleading information out there, but like you can just directly come to the specific website and you can just do your own research and you will just see here very clearly that everything is just available to you for 60 euros. Um, then, um, so Abhishek, uh, Chime Josh is asking, can I get the blocked account sorted out before getting my admission letter? If I get the question correctly, um, I assume that you want to set up your blocked account before you actually get your admission letter from your university, right? Yeah. Um, yes, definitely. Um, you, can, you can set up your blocked account at any time. Um, to be honest, if you are not 100% sure you are applying yeah, for a visa, that's... Yeah, and if you, if you haven't uh, been admitted to a university yet, um, I, I don't want to say you anything that you don't need, right? So. I would not necessarily set up the blocked account already, but I would rather wait for um, actually uh, having um, having the confirmation that I will go to Germany, and then you can set up your blocked account, and it's quite fast actually. Uh, usually, it takes like four to five days uh, till you have your blocking confirmation, um, and then you can take that for your visa appointment. Um, but you could do it. Yeah? You could you could set up your blocked account at any time. Mm -hmm. um, now, when can we start the whole process? Is can everything be done on internet or uh, is there any expatriate branch in India? 
No, there's no expatriate branch in India, nor is there any expatriate branch uh, anywhere else in the world. Um, so it's completely digital. And this is also one of our advantages, and this is also one of our, uh, or one of the reasons, or the main reason, why we actually can provide such a cheap solution. Um, because we are working completely digital, and because of this digital approach, we are saving a lot of costs, right? Because we don't have to maintain a branch network, um, and we uh, and we save costs therefore, yeah? because we also have like standardized automated processes, um, and those costs can be directly passed on to the customer. Uh, in case, uh, in this case, this is you, um, and therefore, no, we don't have any branches anywhere. Okay. We now, just have our headquarters in Berlin. <laughs> yeah. So um, I, I'm taking a look here. It's a, a very nice place where they're working at. But Berlin is kind of hot today. Yeah, that's true. Um, Omar Grivad is asking, is Expatrio verified by consulate as, is it, as it is new? Well, Expatrio isn't new. And if you would take a look at the Auswärtiges Amt, I cannot like... The sh screen sharing is kind of screwed up a bit, but if you take a look here, like you will see just a second. Let me fix it. So yeah, you see the expatrio here too. Nah? So this is not a problem at all. You can take a look directly at the uh, Auswärtiges Amt or like the German Ministry of External Affairs website and you see that it is mentioned there very clearly and there is nothing to be worried about. It is on their official website. So, and yeah, as Barrett said, we are around for about two years by now. Yeah. Um, so not completely new anymore. Um, might be, might be uh, new to you, which is totally fine, of course. Um, but we are around for about two years by now. Yeah, I mean, um, that's a great thing. Like as soon as you have a very nice like offer or something, like you always have the chance to like meet new like really nice customers, which could avail all of those services. So. I'm happy to share like pretty much the cheapest blocked account solution on the market, um, which you get with the value package here. Now, there was a question regarding students being above 30. Yeah. So Kola Akintola is asking, what if you are 30 years and above? What is the best health insurance route to pursue? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. Um, so for people who are above 30, um, so maybe there is a different question uh, targeting this as well. We are unfortunately currently not able to offer the value package uh, because it, like people above 30 are unfortunately not eligible for the uh, public health insurance scheme in Germany. Uh, so the value package doesn't really fit their needs. Um, however, we of course offer uh, also an insurance solution for you uh, in partnership with our um, partner Dr. Walter. Yeah, as I as I said, uh, they are around for over fifty years by now, um, and they they offer you like a subsidiary or substitute insurance actually, um, which is a substitute to the public health insurance scheme. Yeah? Um, so you can basically go to our website, uh, click on health insurance, and you will automatically be redirected to the proper insurance plan for you because we have certain logics underlying our website, um, which will guide you exactly there because. Uh, based on, like, we have this short questionnaire in the beginning, right? We call it exploration, um, where we ask you a couple of questions. And if you indicate that you are above 30, you will be redirected to our um, Dr. Walter Expatrio purchasing flow, where you will get the substitute insurance, um, which matches your needs and which is also um, um, valid for the visa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. Um that's nice. I mean, with, with above 30, like there are these kind of like uh, tiny issues anyways, but nothing that couldn't be sorted out. So now Akash Babu is asking, what is the refund policy if suppose the visa got rejected? Uh, that's also a good question. And I can totally understand that people are uh, thinking of that quite a lot. Um, from our end, if, if your visa gets rejected, we know that this is uh, like a like an annoying situation already, yeah. So we don't want to make it even more annoying. Uh, we will refund all the all the uh, fees, the the blocked account itself, uh, the blocked amount itself, of course, anyways. Uh, and we will of course also refund all the fees. Yeah? So like any kind of like buffer and like setup fee or monthly yeah. fee they put in. Absolutely. Setup, what 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 we uh, might want to mention is the um, is like intransparent or unforeseeable banking fees, yeah, which might appear. Uh, during the transaction process. Of course, we cannot refund them because they are not on us. Yeah? So we are not responsible for those banking fees, um, which you couldn't foresee uh, uh, before transferring money. But uh, our fees are completely refunded and the blocked account itself, of course, as well. And the buffer, of course, also. Uh, the buffer will be refunded anyways, always. Mm. Yeah? 
And now Shubham Khan is asking which bank does Expatrio has to withdraw the monthly 720 euros? Which bank? So I think it's pretty much like yeah. where do you have the blocked account set up? Yeah. Um, so no, what uh, has to withdraw? Yeah. So this is actually so we will provide you the Muniz uh, bank account, current account um, with the value package. Yeah. The main um, advantage is on the one hand that you get a mobile bank account, which is super convenient, uh, which is for free, uh, which will have a lot of nice benefits. Um, you will get this for free due to our special partnership. On the other hand, also due to our special partnership, you are actually able to set up your current bank account while still being abroad. Yeah? And uh, this is something which is quite unique um, and which is quite a big benefit for you as well. If you should say, I don't want to use Muniz, yeah, that's totally fine as well. Then um, you just go for it. Like if you say, I want to have a branch office or whatever, and then I'm willing to pay monthly fees, yeah, then go for Sparkasse, for example. Um, I would always recommend to go for Moniz. I'm, I'm a Moniz customer myself. Um, but of course, if you, if you would like to go for another bank, that's totally fine as well. And then we, we can uh, disburse the money to this uh, bank account as well. Yeah. It just has to be in your name. Okay. Uh, and Tim also, like, they don't have to be in Germany to like, you know, start this current account. For Moniz, not. And okay. this, is, this is like one of the major advantages, which I just uh, tried to explain. So. Um, in, usually you have to be in Germany to set up your current account um, but uh, due to our special agreement with Moniz you can set up set it up um, in, a, in a preliminary way mm -hmm. uh, this is a word I'm still <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm still learning <laughs> uh, to pronounce um, you can you can still set it up um, but you cannot use it and then once you come to Germany and activate your blocked account your current account will be activated as well and then you can use it directly uh, so you don't have to go to a different um, yeah, blocked uh, current account setup process uh, once you come to Germany. Mm -hmm. Now, um, these are like some really nice questions. So thanks a lot, guys, for asking them. Like it is just going to clarify everything for everybody. Moni Sata Khan is asking, um, when money is transferred to Moni's bank account, do they consider the change in euro rates or the rate at which we book will be considered? So when you transfer money to the Moni's account, yeah you do they consider the change in euro rates uh okay so like do they um also like take in account the fluctuation in uh, the euro rates or is it like pretty much as soon as you transfer the money from euros for uh in euros from india that's the exact money you get here that unfortunately doesn't depend on monies that depends on your bank okay so it's always uh it's always the uh, sender's bank that is converting the money in case you are sending in rupees um, if you if you give them an exact euro amount to be transferred, they usually uh, should transfer this exact amount, and then you will be charged accordingly in rupees, for example. Mm. Um, so Viren Dobria is asking, what is the total cost for a year with Expatrio? Um, I think this is similar to one of the questions we already had, yeah. right? Um, so basically, it. Okay, it depends on if you're going for the value package. If you go for the value package, the total cost will be um, only the blocked account monthly fees, which are five euros per month. And if you go for a year, it's 12 times five, uh, which is 60, obviously. And this is the total cost. Again, like you don't pay anything for our service or for using the platform or for getting the value package or whatever. Um, but you have to pay the monthly fees for the blocked account. So total blocked account cost for one year, 60 euros. Um, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Vishwas is asking, well, when is the optimal time to deposit the money in Expatrio blocked account? <laughs> that's so like, a good question. They, they, they can do whenever um, they want, right? So the yeah, sooner can, the better, I think, pretty yeah. much. I would, I would say, uh, in general, yes. As Bharat says, uh, you can do, you can deposit the money whenever you want. So you apply for your uh, blocked account. We will send you the uh, confirmation or the opening confirmation, usually within uh, 24 hours. Um, and then you know where to transfer the money to and then it's basically up to you if you say like my visa appointment is in four months yeah, then it's totally fine if you if you transfer uh, after three months or something or even after three and a half months usually it takes like three to five business days for the money to arrive um, it sometimes takes a little more time so I would always try to at least transfer the money like two weeks before your visa appointment um, but uh, this is basically up to you 
Yeah, but like it's also in general like three to five days, um, like you said. For yeah, in general it's three to five uh, business days, okay. usually for international money transfer. Um, but as you know, there mm. might somehow be some complications or whatsoever, um, and therefore we always uh, recommend to transfer it like two weeks prior to your visa appointment if possible. Of course, we know that some people are in a hurry mm. uh, and that they uh, would need it uh, within the next five days or something, which is usually also doable. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Maduji is asking, please mention the details regarding travel insurance, whether we need to pay an extra incoming insurance, uh, whether we need to pay our incoming insurance is enough to provide in the consulate. Please answer. Please mention the details regarding travel. Well, um, uh, I think, okay, I think I got it. So travel insurance and incoming insurance are basically the same things. Yeah, this is an, this is, those are synonyms, basically. So they are, uh, they are used uh, interchangeably, actually. So you can either, either say incoming insurance, which I think is a little more common to say, um, or you, you call it travel insurance. Uh, you can also call it foreign health insurance, um, for example. Um, but this is basically the same and the question is if this is um, satisfying yeah, yeah. the visa requirements, yeah, yeah. right? If yes. It's accepted in the yes. Consulate. yes, it is. It is accepted in the consulate, it's setting, uh, satisfying the German visa requirements uh, as defined by law being like the 30,000 uh, euros coverage on the one hand and the 180 days validity on the other hand. Okay, that's perfect and I mean if these kind of questions appear I can also like um, if somebody has taken like expatriate like there are a lot of people who actually did now i mean you can see it in our group there was somebody who uh, for example akshar joshi he already like applied with the uh, expatriate thing so like maybe i can also like bring somebody up uh, on the youtube channel some customer of expatriate who is indian who is a part of our community and he has had this process done already so that that could also be an interesting thing that would like be yeah that that will help you out too um, so how much time we covered? Uh, it says that the travel insurance has a validity of 180 days, but you said that it is valid only for 31 mm -hmm. days. Please mm -hmm. clarify. Yeah, um, I can understand the confusion here. Um, we have to differentiate between two things. Uh, one thing is the coverage period, and one thing is the um, period where we are providing the travel insurance for free or the incoming insurance. Um, so the coverage period is always 180 days as defined by German law. Yeah. So this is uh, always 180 days for the incoming insurance we are providing, um, but up to 31 days we are giving it to you for free. Yeah, and this is like the difference uh, we, we have to keep in mind. The one thing is how long are we paying for you? This is 31 days currently. Uh, if we see that this is not enough, um, we might uh, iterate a little bit over here. Um, and then the other thing is the coverage period, which is basically um, 180 days. Yeah, and also, I mean, if you see, most of the times, like, I ask this question in the group, and um, most of the people, like, they don't need it for more than one month. So within one month, like, for one month, you have the travel insurance completely for free, so, like, that's that. And some other people, like, they're mentioning that maybe they're here for more than a month in advance or something like that, which, first of all, doesn't really make sense because you will be paying the rent in terms of euros. So, like, when you don't have a job and you're not studying or something, coming so quickly doesn't make sense but maybe if you're in for um, a language course or something then like you will have to like take the extra health insurance but for 99% of the cases rather 99.5% of the cases uh, for the students who are coming to study their masters or their bachelors like the one month insurance will be more than enough yeah that's a very nice poll actually um, and this goes hand in hand with the statistics and the data we have already yeah? so we have uh, we have gathered a lot of data of course during the last two years um, and we have analyzed that and we came to the conclusion that most people do not need um, their incoming insurance to be uh, more than 31 days. Um, of course, there are exceptions, but most of the people are um, like taking like two to three weeks between arrival in Germany and study start date. And with the study start date, you are covered by the public health insurance. All right, perfect. Um, so we have that covered. There was another similar question for that. Uh, it's a bit confusing. So, all right, now you guys know that, you know, you're, like the validity is still for 180 days, but the first one month is free. And most of the times within the first one month, um, you're able to enroll in the university and then, you know, you don't have any of those problems. Um, will there be a service charge for current account? So for the Muni's account, and if so, how much will it be? 
yeah, so um, this again, as you can see here quite well, um, you, you do not have a service charge. Yeah? It's free. Um, so you actually save, in the first year you save like around 60 euros on the current account um, because it's free because of a special year between Expatria and Moniz for our customers. Um, afterwards you can either um, enjoy a, like a little, bit, a little bit less benefits with Moniz um, and uh, still use their basic plan which is for free after one year as well. Um, or if you prefer you can also uh, change your provider um, we are quite flexible on that end, but no, there are no fees involved for the current account. Um, I got an ATM card when I open with Expatriate, yes. Okay, so that's um, the question that Aditya Kumar CR was asking. Should I open Girokonto after coming to Germany or is there a package where I get an ATM card when I open with Expatriate? If yes, from which bank? So this is something that Tim already explained that this is the MasterCard uh, which you get from the Moniz Bank and with this like you have six free withdrawals from any of the ATMs in Germany. So yes it is going to be already included now so you don't have to worry about that. Now Santu CR7 is asking so other blocked accounts are not providing the ISIC and liability insurance. Why is this, why this is your idea to provide these things and how important and benefiting for the students? Mm -hmm. So it is about ISIC and liability. Yeah, um, I've already tried to um, try to give some background on that. Um, so liability insurance is in general actually uh, quite a good thing to have. Yeah? Imagine you are losing your keys, for example. Yeah? So this is covered by the liability insurance we are giving you. Um, so this is one thing. This is one thing which actually many people have experienced already losing your keys. On the other hand, if you um, accidentally harm someone or something uh, um, then you don't have to pay for that but your liability insurance is uh, is paying for that so for example if you um, accidentally destroy uh, or if I accidentally destroy Barat's phone mm -hmm. um, or, or his glasses or whatsoever um, then my liability insurance would jump in and uh, and um, basically um, pay the phone instead of me paying it yeah, um, so you are uh, you are safe. You are on the safe side. Um, you don't have to um, have to fear additional uh, charges if you accidentally um, harm someone or something. Um, so this is something which is certainly in general quite valuable to have. Um, plus, in addition, what we have experienced some universities, uh, especially in terms of dormitories. So if you apply to live in a dorm at a university. Um, they sometimes require you to have uh, liability insurance as well. So this is uh, quite valuable on that end too. The IC card, this is just a nice uh, uh, feature on top, I would say, uh, because with the IC card, it actually stands for International Student Identity Card. Um, with that, you get a lot, a lot of benefits and, and um, savings um, across entire Europe and I think even more than Europe. Yeah? Here it says like 150,000 benefits in more than 130 uh, countries if you are an owner of the International Student Identity Card. So this is a super nice uh, gift, I would say, uh, nice to have, um, not mandatory to have, of course, um, but uh, you can certainly benefit from that as well. Okay. Um, a very interesting question. Son Chimot is asking, could you please explain the after arrival process to be done to get the IC card, unblocking the account and getting the MasterCard? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in general you come to Germany and you just let us know that you have arrived in Germany. Then we will ask you for uh, certain documents proving that you are in Germany now. Uh, for example, like your uh, visa document and some proof of address, uh, which, which might be a rental contract, which might be your so-called Anmeldung, uh, your uh, registration certificate or whatsoever. Um, and we will ask you for a couple of things. And based on this, once we have those, we can activate your blocked account, we can activate your current account, start disbursing the money from the blocked account to the current account. <coughs> we will uh, let ISIC know uh, that you're in Germany now and that they should send you the card. Um, and anything I forgot, well, I think that, um, that's it. I think the yeah. unblocking the account, uh, getting the MasterCard and the ISIC card. Yeah. So basically, you just have to provide uh, some more information, like your German address um, and and like two three documents, um, and based on those, we can then activate your um, 
accounts and policies. So is it pretty much like this information is then sent to, for example, Muniz uh, and Isaac and Bees, and then they send the uh, relevant documents to the students directly? Exactly. Okay. Uh, perfect. Now this is um, uh, Dave V is asking how much would it cost for people who are above 30 plus. So like for those students, the value package isn't something that you should opt for because it is covering the public health insurance with 30 plus. Like you should rather like the public health insurance is too expensive, around like 170 euros or something. So like it's better that you take the uh, private health insurance. Um, uh, Anga Sham is asking, had a question regarding the official bank partner. Mm -hmm. Since the bank is based in the US, what is the predicted effect of Brexit on the customers, if any? In the UK, not the US. Yeah, yeah, yeah UK. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, if any is actually the, the most important part of that question, uh, because they are currently um, also moving over to mainland Europe. They already have offices uh, in Estonia and by now also in Belgium, I think. Um, and their headquarters is still in London. Um, on the one hand, let's assume it will be a soft Brexit. Yeah? Then um, there won't be two huge changes anyways. On the other hand, um, they are getting their uh, license in, uh, in mainland Europe as well, like in the remaining EU, um, and then there is no uh, impact at all. Um, they already actually have like a, like a, mixed, like a mixed account. Um, you can have a mixed account of, on the one hand, pound, and on the other hand, euros. Uh, so you, if you, for example, um, traveling a lot because of your work, or if you have friends in London, for example, um, you can have both in your uh, in your account. Yeah? So if you go to London, you can pay by uh, pound, and then if you go back to Berlin, for example, you can pay by euro, uh, all all in one account, which is quite nice. Yeah, that's that's definitely a really cool thing. Uh, and also, like I think, pretty much if Brexit will happen, because Expatria has to ensure that you know customers are getting the best experience possible. So like they will definitely come up with some kind of like alternative solution to that. So um, that is like pretty much the benefits of trusting a company which is having like so many good reviews on other platforms too. Um, and also like regarding the Muniz thing, you know, like you also can have like your own student account in Germany. So like that is also not a problem at all. Um, Sheikh Asif is asking, thank you Bharat for the session, how is Expatrio online transaction service? I think it's the uh, Forex transfer. That um, yeah, so we ourselves do not have any online transaction services. Uh, we are always recommending TransferWise, which I already have, uh, have figured out that this is not usable in India. Um, so we are just we're just recommending it to all our customers at the moment yeah? um, because I've used it myself for example when I lived abroad that was quite convenient um, but what I've also figured out is that there are a lot of like Forex uh, service providers in India um, so you can feel free to use any of those to use your uh, Indian bank or whatsoever to transfer the money yeah? you're not bound to transfer wise at all this is just something you're recommending because uh, we have good experience with it um, but uh, I'm, I'm quite sure there are like very good forex providers in India as well, where you can feel free to use any of them to transfer the money. Mm. Um, okay, yeah, that, that's interesting. So this is a critique. Um, Abhishek Ghosh is saying the customer service um, took a lot of time, mm -hmm. and if I need quick resolution from here, India, it's a problem. So what can like students do, like in case like maybe the customer support is taking a bit more time? Mm. Um, well, actually, we, we always aim at uh, providing an answer within 24 hours. Um, so I'm a bit sad to hear that you didn't uh, get, a, get a quick response. Um, I will certainly take this with me. Yeah? This is uh, quite a good critique um, and uh, discuss like, how, how that could happen. And we will certainly um, like, try our best to, in the future, answer all of you within 24 hours, which actually works quite well, uh, I would say. Um, most of the requests are getting getting replied uh, to within 24 hours. Um, but uh, in, in case you don't get a reply, um, this is most probably because we are getting a huge influx of, uh, of requests, uh, which means if you send another request, that would actually make it even worse <laughs> because uh, then we would have an additional request and uh, it would pile up more and more and more. Um, so. We, we are receiving your requests for sure if you send your request to service at x-patrio.com or expatrio.com. Um, that doesn't matter. 
um, and we will certainly get back to you on that. Um, so please, uh, if you haven't received a reply within 24 hours, bear with us for, mo for the moment uh, because we might be a little overwhelmed at that situation. In general, uh, it works quite well with the 24 hours, um, but uh, sending another email rather makes it even less uh, yeah, easy for, for our customer support team, uh, which is always uh, trying to give their best and also properly answer your, uh, your inquiries. Mm -hmm. Uh, Biashok Kumar is asking in case if our visa is rejected or we decided not to go to Germany after getting visa or even not getting a visa slot, mm -hmm. uh, would Expatrio give back even the paid fee? Um, yeah, so uh, in case your visa gets rejected, we will certainly um, refund your fees. Uh, this is something I think we already had in this uh, live stream. Uh, yeah. Some of you might join later on, which is totally understandable. Um, so yes, uh, we know that this situation is already uh, not, not a nice one and a rough one and uh, annoying. So we don't want to make it even worse and we are paying back uh, on the one hand, of course, your total blocked amount and uh, of course also the expatriate fees uh, that are included in there and the buffer, for example, as well. Um, so yeah, in case your visa gets rejected, you will, you will get refunded all the fees. Uh, but it is like not if the person decides that he's not going to go to Germany. That's a different story, yeah. Um, because if you if you just set up a blocked account and you're not sure about my I might go to Germany or I might not, mm -hmm. yeah, which which is fair. Um, but uh, then we are unfortunately not able um, to refund the fees um, because this is this is on you then and not on external factors like the German authorities because there we totally understand. Um, that uh, this is uh, nothing on you and we, we will certainly uh, give you back the fees. On the other hand, if you say, no, nah, I just don't want to go to Germany anymore, um, but we have set up the blocked account. I mean, you, you also need to understand that it involves uh, work for us, right? To set up the blocked account for each of you. Um, this is why we are also charging the setup fee. And uh, because we know, as I said, like the visa rejection is super annoying already. Um, we are saying, well, uh, let's not make it worse. We will just give you back everything. Um, but if you are not sure about coming to Germany, but we have the work with uh, setting up the blocked account and all that, um, we we need to keep the fees then. And this is not new. I mean, if you go to any other company, like they do the same thing because it's like you decided at the, at the end to like not to come to Germany. But if it's like a valid uh, reason that your visa got rejected, then like of course the entire money is paid back. But even if, for example, you do decide not to go to Germany by yourself, then the fees will not be paid, but the um, blocked account amount will still be. Yeah, of back. course, absolutely. And the buffer as well. You know? yeah. It's just the fees that we need to keep them because, as <laughs> I said, like we have we have we have uh, uh, like um, keep the eight thousand seven hundred euros. <laughs> yeah. yeah, then that would be uh, not legally doable, I would yeah. say. No, but we we have the setup process and we have work on our end, um, and therefore this is what the fee is for, right? Hmm. Okay, that that's perfect. Um, uh, Samarth Kohli is asking. I've already taken a blocked account from a different company. Is it possible to open one now and put my money for second year and avail all? Avail the value package. Yeah, that's uh, that's a really um, I, in business language you would call it edge case. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> to be honest, I, I can't give you like a standardized reply to that right now yeah. um, because this is a case that wouldn't happen on a daily basis, not even on a weekly basis, probably not even on a monthly basis. Um, so I'm I'm happy uh, to to check back with operations. Uh, on how to deal with that and I'm happy to get back to you on this question um, but unfortunately I can give you a reliable answer right now to that. Mm -hmm. um, okay so now Chinmay was asking um, so that was uh, an interesting question now I missed it okay yeah what if I just want a blocked account and no insurance then you just get a blocked account and no insurance. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> now you um, you can you can basically purchase all the products uh, modularly, like um, standalone as well. Um, we still have a button blocked account on our page, so you just hit blocked account and then you go for the blocked account. Mm -hmm. uh, Harsha Kravati, does the federal authorities really require us to have additional basic sum in our accounts, like the buffer buffer amount? No, not not a, like not always. Uh, this really depends on your individual case. 
um, and the authorities will let you know in case you need to deposit an additional basic sum. So like on our page you can see additional basic sum is not mandatory. Um, in case the authority has told you uh, that you need to deposit an additional basic sum, you can provide it there um, and then it will be part of the total blocked amount. But this is not like a standard uh, figure which is always uh, required. Um, but this is rather, like, as I said, they will let you know in case you need to um, deposit an additional basic sum. Mm -hmm. And this is pretty much um, a very interesting uh, comment right after that. Ashish Munkal is saying, my university said I have to opt for a blocked account for 836 mm -hmm. euros per month. So, like, then you can, like, block the amount in that sum. Uh, and, like, you mm, also no, see... No, no, no actually, um, sorry to interrupt. Okay, yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> um, but me. actually, if you... Uh, if your university says it should be like 836 euros per month, you can just uh, like type in exactly this amount, like 836 euros, um, into the field of uh, exactly what, like what amount do you need to block on a monthly basis. And this is your monthly blocked amount then. Yeah? And we will uh, pay out 836 euros on a monthly basis as well once you are in Germany. Mm, yes, like the additional basic sum... Um, it, it can have different backgrounds, yeah, and uh, sometimes it's because you're bringing a child or something, sometimes it's because uh, they require additional security um, from the authority end or something, um, but this is really not a very standardized uh, figure that you have there, um, and as I said, they will let you know in case you have to have an additional basic sum. Mm -hmm. um, now, to, to summarize um, these things, Tim, so the ISIC card the MasterCard, like, does it come within a week or like how many days does it take, like, for example, these cards to arrive to the students? Yeah, let me think. Um, I think for my case, it took like four days or something. Mm -hmm. I think it was around four days. Um, and I think they are saying you will get it within a week. Um, to be honest, I, I, I don't know what, what they are communicating. But for me, for my case, uh, when I opened my Muniz account, it took like four days, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Kedar, like we already answered your question about um, public health insurance with expatriate for students over 30 years uh, of age. That's not possible with the value package. Like for that, you have to get the private uh, insurance and that's like given by Dr. Walter. Exactly. Okay. Um, all right. I think then uh, so far, like the things have been really nice. We have now just 13 minutes left in which I think uh, we should... Uh, summarize the things and maybe the important things um, the very uh, important question that everybody was asking about the transfer wise and uh, Tim has told that you know you don't necessarily have to use transfer wise if, transfer wise if you can't you can also like to uh, take some other service for example your own bank to transfer the money or some other kind of like forex transfer that you need now regarding the refunds if your visa is rejected you are paid the entire fee and also the blocked amount of course like yeah, that's that's a lot of money um, then um, what else also like for example whatever whatever buffer you have like it is paid out towards the uh, in your 12th um, disbursement right so like no nothing stays with any company without any kind of reason whatever money you put inside you will cut back and you will get back and if there's any kind of like cost or something like you will have like completely transparent uh, insight to like what where the things got cut and so on yeah no um so um i think then that is pretty much it uh, you guys can let us know if you have still some questions that um so omar Garval is asking is current account better than savings account well, um, so your current account is basically the account uh, where you have your uh, money for your daily expenses on, uh, expenses on. And then you have a so-called savings account uh, where you basically have money which you do not need on a daily basis. Yeah, let's say you have somehow some, uh, some, some money uh, left uh, in your pocket. Um, which you which you do not need for your daily expenses, then you usually put it on your savings account. Yeah, but those are basically two different things. Yeah, and I mean, um, also Tim, like a lot of people are like saying that you know maybe the STC these like special terms and conditions, something like hey, there's this hidden, there's hit this hidden. But like to to summarize everything, like the main thing is that we have to activate the public health insurance. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing bank account you don't have to stick with monies but it is better because well it provides so many like different services 
Um, income insurance is also for free for the first 31 days. Health insurance you start once you enroll in the university. Then liability insurance is also free for the first year, right? And um, the ISIC card, I think, is the ISIC card also having a validity of like a year or something? Or is yeah. it like, it's, it's all for one year. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, but again, um, I don't know if we have mentioned that in this uh, live screen already, uh, all the contracts are on fair terms. Yeah? So fair terms in business language basically means that you, um, that the, contract does not automatically extend after one year. So after one year, you are free to say, uh, I don't need liability insurance anymore, uh, so I want to cancel it. Uh, you are free to say, I don't want an IC card anymore. You are free to say, I want to uh, use the other plan of Moniz, which is free, or I want to use another bank than Moniz. Um, yeah, so this is all fair terms, yeah, so-called. Um, so you don't have to worry about getting, uh, getting charged automatically because the contracts are somehow extending after one year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, now th this is also an interesting question. Uh, Abhishek Khanna is asking. I have already transferred funds to my blocked account. If I activate my blocked account in January, do I pay monthly charges for the period of June to December? Mm. So, for example, he transferred the money right now, mm -hmm. and he activates it, but on January twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. um, then you would actually how, how would you actually also yeah. get the visa extension because like you have to like show the blocked account activation and um, you have yeah, to show so funds two, two things about that um, maybe first thing I would never recommend anyone to set up the blocked account in June if you need the money in January Yeah, I would rather go I mean it's good that you are taking care of it already uh, but I would rather do it in like, I don't know, fall or end of the year or something. Yeah? I would rather go for it like October, November, um, because now it, it lays around, um, which is yeah, not the best thing you can do with your money in general. Um, anyways, uh, if you are transferring the money in, in June, for example, uh, as per our um, terms, uh, we will charge you for, for the month being as well, uh, between June and, um, and January. At the moment, we are not practicing this. Um, but this is something um, where it might change a little bit in the future. Um, so again, I would recommend to uh, set up the account not too far away from your uh, date where you actually need it. Um, yeah, that's that sounds great. Um, well, uh, Tim, look, we also already have a nice comment right there. Great, I'm going for expatrio. So, Excellent. good to hear that. <laughs> yeah, um, so I hope like more people and more students join it. If you have any kind of questions, you can watch this entire live stream again. I will also be uploading more uh, videos with Tim that I recorded today. And the most important thing is like, because some people are claiming that, you know, these videos are being paid for, like the, these videos are sponsored or, uh, I have affiliate commission from them or so, something like that. That is absolutely not true. I'm talking about them because this is pretty much the best service available and the cheapest service available for the students right now. And you should definitely take a look at it. If there's a product available which could like really help you, then it doesn't really damage anything if you're actually bringing awareness about it. So like just 60 euros, you have the entire value package and you don't have to then go anywhere you already have your current account you have your incoming insurance you have your blocked account you have your health insurance liability insurance isaac card you get so many things with just 60 euros so i don't see a sense of like not taking it and people who are saying that hey there are these like stcp or something like tim said it is on fair terms so like none of these things will be activated automatically like after one year so this is like a very important thing to remember so don't um, pay attention to any kind of like misle misleading information going around and I think with this we have pretty much uh, served the purpose of our live stream uh, we have another one Mansoor uh, Nadav thanks a lot for uh, support Bharat and team expect you for my case so like we are already seeing students um, yeah more interested about the value package and this just absolute 60 euros thing which is really student friendly and something you can like opt for without giving it any kind of second thoughts and this is actually something which really like brings us a step closer to our vision of really providing like a tailored solution for anyone coming to germany um, to set this up in a digital way in an aggregated cheap way um, from from their home country already 
Um, and we are super happy that we could have launched this uh, value package and we're super happy uh, that the people are actually appreciating it. And of course, uh, I totally understand if, if this causes questions. Uh, um, always feel free to contact our customer support team, uh, service at expatrio.com. Um, they, are, they are always happy to, um, to support yeah. you in any, in any regard. Of course, I mean, if there's any kind of like product which comes into the market with like pretty, pretty much like makes waves, then um, people will complain about it and people will make stories up. But this is the entire story. This is the value package that you get for 60 euros. And yeah, like take a look, um, go around the website. You have a lot of information there. There's also a link in the description which will directly take you to the uh, value package. So you can also take a look there. Um, yeah, and for any kind of questions whatsoever, we have our Facebook group. We have the service um, support, the customer support from Expatrio. I think like you can also directly communicate with them for any kind of issues you have. And um, yeah, I thank you a lot for all of your attention. Maybe one more thing. I yeah. see. I see a couple Please. of questions coming yeah. in. Yeah? Um, we we have answered most of the questions you are currently answering, uh, currently asking already during the last hour. Um, just they can repeat this, right? Yeah, yeah, they can. Yeah. They can repeat it. Just take a look at the at the video we have recorded, um, and I think most of the questions you are just asking are getting clear. Yeah. Okay, that that's perfect then. Um, thanks a lot for joining it, joining us for 56 minutes. It has been a, a very productive session. We could clear a lot of your questions. Thank you, Tim, for being here. Thank uh, you for inviting me. <laughs> yeah, and um, let's maybe see you guys in another video. Like there will be more videos coming up with Tim, and we will like pretty much like shorten everything down and like tell you the gist of this entire value package. Excellent. All right then. Bye. Great. Bye bye, guys.